So for this week's video, I thought I'd update you guys on what's happening. I'm still working on my app for December. I was hoping to have it done last week. It's a shoot 'em up game and originally I had one level design, th around three minutes of content, but I decided to add three more minutes of content, which is the second level, and I figured it would only take me the weekend. But it's actually kind of extended past that and uh, I'm hoping to have it done this weekend now. You'd be surprised at how long it actually takes to design three minutes of content considering all the programming is already done. A lot of time is spent designing the enemies and making them interesting and putting them together in a way that is fun for the player. So as I'm designing the level, I'm, I'm always thinking about 10 second intervals and making sure that each 10 seconds is really fun and always play testing that over and over and over again. It's gone to the point where I've pretty much memorized my whole level and it seems really easy for me, but whenever I get someone else to play test it, it, it looks ridiculously hard for them. My plan is to wrap up the game this weekend and submit it to the App Store, so hopefully it'll be around mid-December when it's available. Another interesting update is that my ad revenue has increased 500%. <laughs> So my revenue went from $5 in October to $30 in November. <laughs> so $30 might not seem like that much, but it's actually really encouraging to see that huge increase from one month to another. And I'm really excited to see how my next app will increase that monthly revenue for me. Of the three apps that I have, Chatterjammer, Chimp Prodigy, and TouchFu, TouchFu is my most popular one and generating the most ad revenue at the moment. It was released at the beginning of November and it had the nice side effect of also increasing the downloads of my previous two apps, which was really nice to see. Another interesting bit of information is that when I looked at my downloads, um, it's broken down by platform and I realized that approximately 40% of my downloads come through the iPad. That surprised me because I wasn't really expecting that many downloads through the iPad and originally I wasn't going to publish for that platform because I didn't have a proper way of testing for it. All I could do was in Unity make sure my game still looked good in the iPad aspect ratio. And sort of at the last minute, I decided why not and published for it anyways. And I'm really glad that I did because so many of my downloads have come through the iPad. So if you're a developer and making an app for the iPhone, definitely consider building for the iPad as well because it's still a large chunk of the market. And you might be as surprised as I was with how many downloads you get. That's all for this video, but check back next week as I'll be talking about an interesting challenge that I faced while developing apps.